Okay, so let's continue to Nashkel. There is a flaming fist uh, mercenary here with a plate armor. So we want to kill him to take his armor. So. If you want a fight, we'll give you a fight. Okay, you need a potion. If I had a copper for every moron I've run across, I could buy Baldur's Gate. armor uh, which is very good because tank need armor Okay, let's continue our way to Nashkan.
quite all right. I can this way. Okay, so I level up uh, our character. And you gain one tackle reduction and 13 additional hit points. Good. I'm gone. Ne me touchez pas. Ouh. Je risquerais d'attraper quelque chose. Ouh. Ok. I'm unconcerned with such a thing, so let me go. With your hurried flight from Candlekeep barely behind you, the troubles facing the Sword Coast seem an unfamiliar blur to your fractured nerves. Gorion would not have you sit idle, however, and perhaps investigating local concerns will shed some light on your own predicament. How the iron shortage or the trouble in the Nashkill mines could possibly be linked to you, you have no idea. Yes, I have no idea. I'm gone. Stand away, citizen. We are the party of Triton Valdagreon, seeking a place to rest between adventurers. And we're here to cause problems. So. Defend myself if I must. If you wish to die, then attack as you will. Another person who wants to kill me. You have to cast faster if you want. And the bounty now is... Tum 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 tum. Six hundred and eighty coin. Oh. Okay. I've done had enough of this. 
Ici, on n'a jamais eu de rats. Non, Express. Do not dream often, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you, but the gate is closed and barred. Over the walls there is a candle in your old room, but as the light goes out, the brick surrounding the window closes together. The very walls conspire to keep you at bay. A familiar voice startles you, though it is calm and caring. You cannot go back this way, child. You must go on. Gorion forms before you, and though his image should be comforting, it seems but a shade of his living self. He is dead in your dreams, as in life. The phantom of your foster father gestures toward the blackness of the wood, as though it should be inviting. Perhaps it is, in a way, but the traveling will be hard. As you think this, a smooth and obvious path becomes clear out of the corner of your eye. It seems meant for you, pulls at your very being, and promises to quickly lead you away from the life you once led. Perhaps this would be for the best, but it is a bit too convenient for your liking. You do not wish to dwell upon the loss you have endured, but neither should it be forgotten. Gorion smiles and fades away. The pull becomes a push, but you turn away, steadfast in your new direction. The way is not quite as clear, but it is sure to be interesting nonetheless. A whisper follows as you stride away. Something vestigial and sinister that you recognize, but yet have never heard. You will learn. You don't look back. Mm, I miss game with some, with such a text. Okay. I have a lot of stuff to identify. A lot. Do you want to Let's find a temple. For the glory of Arm! Yeah. Intrepid adventures at our door. Yes. Um, what kind of services do you provide? Mm -hmm. And now let's uh, sell our stuff. Yeah. Back home, Puskets would always tell me a story. This way. Bienvenue dans mon humble établissement. Okay, silver ring. Helm of Infravision. Totally needless. Um, quarter staff plus one. Jadal of gender. Okay. And I will take this potion case. 